Hey guys, my name is Chris Piscatelli and I'm going to run you through the low down concept. The idea here was that by keeping the center of gravity low and by running no lift, but by doing some creative clearancing, we could run something like these 42s and really kind of increase our approach, departure, breakover, all of that, again, while, while hunkering down, that's the name. So some of the details on this include the custom hood, which has got a clear uh, center power dome with the uh, holes cut in it, so you can see the 392. Uh, the hood is carbon, as are the high flares. Again, with going, keeping it at a stock height, but going with so big with the tires, we had to do some creative work to kind of keep the flares high and out of the way. The tires are 42-inch uh, Michelin crawlers with some 20-inch bead locks, and the axles are Dana 60s front and rear. So moving back, we custom coated the car in what we call poison apple red. It takes uh, some of the spirit from some of the 60s race cars, which is why there's kind of the, the white stripe and some of the other kind of racy details. On the interior, you'll see some of the, the cool things that we got going on is the custom soft top with the red translucent material that kind of casts the whole thing in kind of an evil glow. And then what you won't see that's not there is the radio. So the engine's all the noise and entertainment you need. So we got rid of the radio and put a custom radio delete dash in there. Seats are inspired by the race car vibe as well. Some of the early 60s Trans Ams and uh, Le Mans cars. You get some of that corduroy and, and grommets. Uh, again, kind of just that spirit of early race cars. As we move back, again, you see kind of the, the clearance flares. For those of you familiar with Jeeps, we love LJs, and so we took the door handles off at the outside of this so that it kind of has that, that early kind of TJ LJ uh, elongated feel to it. Let me show you some details around the back. I talked about approach and departure angle, so you can see that in both in the front and the back, we really kind of shortened up the bumpers, kind of these stubby steel bumpers, the tow hooks. Uh, even the tailgate we've cleaned up, and in lieu of a, a spare tire here, we've got the old kind of Jeep logo. Uh, really kind of tightens up the whole rear end of the car and again kind of evokes that hot rod spirit. 